Good morning. Welcome to today's vlog, I guess. We can't call it trucking vlog. I think I forgot to put the intro in yesterday. Oops a daisy. Uh, oops, oops, oops a daisy. So, I can't clean my floor over there. Tomorrow's agenda. Tomorrow's agenda, so. I was trying to tell everybody yesterday that Facebook says it was my birthday today. And I told them don't believe it. But, I guess nobody can read, eh? So, I guess it is my birthday then, huh? So, happy birthday to me and my phone didn't charge. What's up with that? <coughs> Did I forget to plug it in last night or something? Must of, huh? Anyways, we're gonna head back to uh, Post Falls and this will be the day three, the final day. And then off to Pizza Hut with the family. I guess for the not so birthday dinner. Yes, Pizza Hut is tradition for my birthday, so. We gotta get going. I'm a little tired. Just getting up early. Crap is for the birds. But might have to get used to it. No, looks like I'm way over here, huh? So let's get going. Okay. It's hitting the hood, right? You mean just drive it? You can drive it that right way or you can. Okay, that looks like a moving one. Do a simple wrap and spread on either side. And that's just so you don't get your hand busted. And would you do just one at a time? Or for yeah. both, you could wrap both? Uh, so this I is while he's driving. Yeah, yeah I would just do the one that you're driving. So and we're going to use two instead of one because otherwise we're going to create a pivot point, right? Mm -hmm. So if we use the two, if you only have one, then that's all you have. But at the same time, we want to show you the best way that we can and use a two. So we want one on this side. So you can see it kind of wants to bounce a little initially until so you kind of get it down through that hood. But uh, just kind of give it a few good whacks and then it, it'll shore up pretty quick and then it'll be easy to drive from there. So it doesn't need to go all the way down to the ground. We can just go down until you kind of get that knocked down and then the engine block a little ways. There's a hex armor. Good. Go to the other side. Yeah. Gas can or the uh, fuel door there, and then punch a hole on the other side. Some things like that. But <clears throat> with the newer vehicles and the the sheet metal is a lot more flimsy, if not plastic, off some of the times in the trim. So what we're gonna teach you here is we're gonna teach you how to wrap a chain. Has anyone done the chain method? Last okay. time I was here, yeah. You've done it before once. Yeah. Okay. Tyler. <clears throat> Tyler. Perfect. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a chain, we'll loop it around the back here. We wanna start towards the back of the vehicle because if you look at the vehicle, it gets wider as we get closer down here, right? So then we'll just roll it down and it'll get tighter. And we'll get that tightened up and then we'll take a strap to keep it from spinning off the back. We wanna run a strap from the chain either to the front of the vehicle or we'll take it and wrap it around the tires. It's kind of up to you and what you have to work with. I'm with Tyler, I like to take it down to the front of the vehicle. You can put your uh, bail down there and it's a lot easier to work that down there versus having, sometimes it gets caught up somewhere in here. Where'd you guys hook it? Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, you can crank on this yet. 
So this is only a 5,000 pound one? Yeah, I think so. We want to make sure that we close that all the way so we get the full rating. Perfect. All right. Tight. Sometimes you'll get the car will collapse a little bit on itself just because it shows you the structural integrity of the car being that plastic, that lightweight metal. This one's holding together pretty good. Uh, so now at this point we'll grab a couple of the struts and we'll get those in place and we'll show you how to place them in the grooves of the chain. All right there. 45. Yeah, that one's, that one's pretty good, huh? to secure the vehicle here. So go ahead and deploy that. It's about 45 at the winch. Well, actually, it would be like way up here. I would go to the I was saying 45, but my height is about right there. But. Okay. Looks pretty good. That that looks pretty good. It'll tighten up as we continue to place the struts. So, do we need to adjust this around so we can get a hole in here? I think you gotta tighten it up first. Well, we need to put in our no oh, our pen our pens. That's what I was asking about. My note. You might have to go out or in. You can or separate straps. Uh, they won't reach. They don't have enough to go here. There. So that we want to create that triangle, right? So if we go up to there, then it's going to be a real narrow triangle. We're not going to do this. Let's grab another strap. Put one together. Is that right there? Yeah. I got round numbers. Uh, not if you have another strap available, the best thing to do is just grab a whole another strap and use that. It doesn't seem like they're in line. Unless it looks like... Yeah, what are you looking at over here? What are you noticing? Well, they're, they're in line. Theirs is kind of angled. Okay. Not perpendicular. Perfect. Great. There you go. So Good. we always want to be kind of in line with each other and then we always want to step back and make sure that our tips are pretty close forming the best triangle that we can, right? Nice work. It doesn't, and it, I'm not talking about pulling out a measuring tape or a level or what is that old thing called? Uh, whatever, feet square, whatever you use to measure triangles. We don't need a, a proctor. We don't need to pull that out. But we want to be close, we want things to be in line, we want it to be smooth. So I say go to his foot. Remember, bud, always on one knee. There you go. So you can essentially forget about this strap. We're going to forget this strap. We're using a whole separate strap. Always on one knee. Okay. if you get it really soft up tight. So what you can do is you can grab a halogen or some tool like that and you can come in here and kind of rotate it around until you get it set. So 
on this vehicle, both of them set pretty good. The other one, we had to make an adjustment on the one, but that's just a way to kind of twist the chain. Um, you know, you could even probably tighten this up just a little bit more if you wanted. side to the clean side when it's upside down. Just do the opposite. So that way you're pulling and pushing everything away from your brakes that are in there, right? So back here.
let you take the last one out. <coughs> Plus it is to leave the uh, long side in so we have something to stab into the ground. <coughs> yeah. So where are you going to cut? Like leaving the B post? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like We're that. We're just going to leave that one. Take For now. Yeah, so cutting over here now? Oh, yeah, I do. So do you want to cut this? You want to cut? cut you want the last yeah, cut right over. here? You want to get it? Try and hook it onto that. Try to keep your hand out of there. You feel it? Okay. Okay, you keep that in and he should feed the other end through the passenger compartment. Now you can feed the rest of it through the passenger compartment. some drugs yesterday, remember that? Yeah, I know. They're probably expired though, right? So, just get it stocked and don't uh, tighten it until the other one is ready. Not everybody has these straps, so we're going to show you an alternative. So the snap hooks here are meant for the, to be clipped into a chain like that. So if you don't have that, if you have just the straps like we do down below, you're going to need to use a cluster hook. So what you would do is you bring in a cluster hook, and then you would hook it into your chain, and then hook into the loop. Because this is meant to take that other hook style, not the snap hook. Sound good? Yep. Just make that triangle. You still want to see this then? Oh, uh, we can. And I just, just wanted to show you that method there. If you have anything to add here. Hmm? Anything else to add there? No? No. Just make sure you get through the link. So, you don't do any lifting. You go ahead and tighten your strap and watch what happens if we don't work together. <laughs> See how it's twisted? Okay, stop on that end, pull that away. It wants to twist it, right? So we got to work together here. So we kind of want to go click for click in this evolution. So go ahead and start tightening. And you're in, take up your slack. Okay, now go ahead. You do one click and you do another click. Go ahead and give your like two or three clicks. Okay, pretty good, tight, should we check it? Just make sure we close down our uh, bales all the way, close it down all the way. Yeah, now we had all that twisting, we can connect it to the, to the base down there. So the big side down by the base? Sorry, what's that? The big side down the base. So you normally run the big side down there, so it's all the way. So if 
I bring it up and I connect it here, what will happen? You got the wheel in the way. So, no, what's, what's so imagine that we're starting over. We didn't use the pickets. We want to keep the vehicle from sliding out. We still have all the doors on the vehicle. What What do you guys see as an issue? You're going to pull it too. You want to go low so then you're not repeating where you're trying to cut. Exactly. We're going to be, the strap would be in the way of where we want to work. So what we could do is we could bring it down and around. <coughs> down and around the hood and hook it. Need more. Uh, now is it a lot better? Yeah. That hood pins it to the ground. Crisscross. The same with the other side. So let's go ahead and get this in place. Guys, so what we could do. There's a tree back here. There's a tree. What's something we might have though? That'd be pretty easy. Engine. We've already got two of them in place. Another strut. If I take a strut and I place it right here, and then I run to that base and to that base, do you think that vehicle has a chance to go anywhere? No. I've pretty much eliminated any way it wants to go, right? Yeah, because now you keep Because now I'm keeping it from those struts are kept from pulling forward, because so I got it coming here. Essentially, what would happen. And come. Ours mostly non-critical, but this need assessment and to extricate that patient. You can get some help from somebody if you want to do the assessment. Because we got to remove the passenger from this one to get to the driver who's critical. Okay, this is where you need to take control because I don't believe these guys are on scene yet, are they? Are you guys on scene? Have you been assigned? To medical. To medical? Okay, perfect. So yeah. they're yeah, I'm really just plan. The... Say you want a patient status. Yeah, how are the patients doing? The driver of this car is non-critical. The patient, the passenger is non-critical. The driver of this one is pinned and critical, and he's in critical condition from what we can see. He's not, he's in and out of consciousness, and he's pale in color. So we need to get to him. So I want to get that passenger out. That passenger, though, says she can't stand. She feels so her legs are numb, and so we need to extricate her and extricate that driver. I mean, I need to get in there. Once I get in there, I'm locked where I'm at. Do you have a kit, though, for the passenger? I mean, if you have an ambulance I assume we have an ambulance There's a backboard on that trailer over there. So if you're able to get that patient out, work on that, and then by then, hopefully, this is raised. And so we'll, to work we on the actually door. go get the backboard. Yeah, go get the backboard. Yeah. Let's just move to get that kit. <laughs> Okay, now you everything you know, what shall I see? <coughs> Rapid activation. Breathing. Yep, breathing. <laughs> okay, now he's responding again. Okay. What just what are you feeling right now? I feel like my neck's broken and I can't feel my legs and okay. I'm having a hard time breathing. So you want to get in the back here and do see the door? And come in here and drop your knee under it, and now you're gonna support him on your knee gives you two free hands. Now I can guide them <coughs> in. So, okay, I'm ready. So you're gonna maintain C-spine until you pass them off to me. All right. So both of you are, both of you are gonna help come up and out, right? Okay. We're gonna get the hips on the board. And we're gonna start sliding towards me. You're gonna maintain C-spine until I get my hands on his neck. All right, we're gonna trade. I got C-spine. Now both of you are gonna work on getting me the patient. Okay, we get the patient to here. Somebody's gonna come in between my arms, drop there her we head have. bed. We're gonna put the pads on the side, secure the head to the board. Medic. Put all the- Another ambulance incoming. Okay. Get all of our okay, straps this, on. We, so we just verbalized all of our C-spine and all of our straps are ready to take them out. So this We point, have two go CMTs that we're gonna <laughs> extricate. And I'll crawl in here. Okay. I gotta go to see. We don't really need any ghosts. He's gonna help me move this patient. We're gonna take him to care. You can transition over to that patient to figure out what we're gonna do. Okay, what am I gonna find on this patient? Okay, we'll take this one right to the ambulance. And then we'll. I got to stay with that patient. <coughs> Thank you.
Got some old and cheese fine. Here's your backboard for the next one. <laughs> yep. I got C spot. Patient's dying. It's getting blue in the face. Oh, we're done here. The battery's still not about ready to die again. <laughs> we're done our academy for the year. Done our academy. Now we're gonna go grab some gas. Wait for the family to get here. We'll have dinner. Birthday dinner. Pizza Hut. Sounds like you got a break going bad. Right there to my left. <coughs> Went for a birthday dinner. Pizza Hut's traditional. There goes the wife. No kids want to ride with dad. See how daddy goes. here and if you sit right here 
Wait for him to go by, then you catch up. Yeah, I got a brake pad, it's gone. <coughs> so you sit here and you wait, and you wait. Brandon's phone crashed on her today. Supposedly, I got the old one in my pocket. <coughs> she probably got a code on there. Yep. <coughs> right there, see? And then you do this. trucks make it perfect. You play a little hide and seek with your kids. Don't hurt. See now they're right in front of us. I'm zipping out like this. <coughs> like I said my wife drives slower than I do so. I can handle this hill a little bit better than she can. A little hide and seek. <coughs> and bam! There we are. I drive faster than she does. She does the speed limit and I do five over. Now we're gonna do a brake job on this truck one way or another. One way or another. Alright, see you in a bit. <laughs> 